Welcome back. Now what's the possible complication of chest tube placement and things we need to watch for? Uh, for sure, one of the most important things, and we said this part of our data run, is check for malposition, malpositioning of the chest tube and with the concern that the chest tube will go and pierce the lung and injure the lung parenchyma itself. So one of the things you need to watch, is there any change in the output in term of it was just serous fluid or clear fluid and now bloody. Every time the output changed to bloody, you need to get worried and get thoracic surgery or pulmonary involved and look at the x-ray and sometimes you need to look at this uh, to get a CT chest if there is any concern about chest tube malposition. Don't remove it. If you suspect it's malposition, as an internal medicine resident or as a hospitalist, please consult pulmonary medicine, intensivist or thoracic surgery. Let them handle that. Do not remove it yourself because that may make things worse. In a second, I'll show an x-ray and how malposition can be. Two is infections. I, I th That's one thing that chest tube need to, or any device, need to be removed as soon as possible if we don't need it. And infection could be empyema. And of course, the, the output in the chest tube may decrease or may become purulent or the tube get clogged, all these things plus leukocytosis, fever, and things that we see with empyema. Three is, as I said, is, is lung parenchyma injury, which is mainly from the chest tube malposition that it can uh, pierce the lung and cause this problem. Also need to watch for pneumothorax, yes, and subcutaneous emphysema and pneumothorax if it's gonna happen it happens right at the insertion you try to treat for example um, a pleural fusion and you go and injure the lung tissue and create air leak and cause pneumothorax subcutaneous emphysema of course can happen especially if the chest tube malposition and become outside the chest but still in a subcutaneous uh, tissue. It's the possible complication we need to look for and that's the reason we need to remove chest tube as soon as possible as soon as we don't need it. With these complications as I said I would rather have a pulmonologist or a thoracic surgeon mainly pulmonologist to help me manage that because for malposition it needs to be repositioned of course but do not try to remove it and reposition it yourself or ourselves as you see this is a chest x-ray i showed you on the previous video and this is the uh, chest tube this is was inserted for pneumothorax you see the chest tube and it's going here it's going here and it's ending here usually if we're treating pneumothorax let's call ptx the tube usually should be in the upper part of pleural cavity superiorly like this one if we draining effusion the tube should be in the lower part of pleural cavity the dependent portion this is for pleural effusion just give you some guidance okay so this is for pneumothorax now you get worried if I see the tube is coming like this and going like this or going like this or going same thing going like this or going like this when it goes straight into the mediastinum or into the heart or this way this could be going into the lung right when you see this in chest x-ray make sure you consult with a radiologist or a 
pulmonary medicine or intensives or even thoracic surgery. Of course, get more worried if you see blood coming now in the chest tube and consult them immediately. Don't try to fix it on your own, please. Sometimes the chest tube will be, sorry, I don't have x-rays for those, but the chest tube will be outside the chest cavity, but still in the subcutaneous tissue. And this, and at that point, you will see subcutaneous emphysema. Also, one important thing, you need to pay attention to the holes like this one, the fenestrations in the chest tube. They all need to be inside the chest, nothing outside the chest. If anything outside the chest, of course, you need to fix that. Remember, I highly recommend you consult pulmonary medicine if not consulted already or thoracic surgery. I highly recommend if you have a patient with chest tube and you're not comfortable managing those, consult them as well. So these are things that I need to pay attention for. Hopefully that was useful. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released. Glad to have you on board.